Floodwaters on the causeway have receded. That's great news for business owners ready to get back to work after Ida shut things down for a couple of days. Here's WKRG News 5's Blake Brown. It's tough to tell where the water starts and where it ends, but all this water receding Tuesday morning while Alabama Department of Transportation crews clear seaweed and debris from the causeway. We, we deal with flooding a lot. Obviously, it was way out into the road. Hurricane Ida pushing water from Mobile Bay onto the causeway by Sunday morning. In some spots, the water rising a couple of feet. The water here on the causeway keeping businesses closed since Saturday, but today there's relief. By lunchtime Tuesday, all lanes of the causeway back open. It's so um, unpredictable, and you, you always hope, um, you know, you pray for the for the best and, and prepare for the worst. Pete Blom's restaurant weathering the storm okay, but that doesn't mean there's not a loss. And we're going to lose some product. Even though we ice things down, there's perishables that we have to deal with. Our gas tanks floated around, and, uh, you know, we've got to get those reconnected. He plans to reopen at Seafood Shed quickly. Closing for a couple of days will have an impact on his business, but Blom knows the real impact is to our west. We have to delay trucks, we have to delay schedules, orders. There's a lot that goes into it. Our hearts and you know our prayers are with all the people in Louisiana and Mississippi that really got beat up. You know, we have a lot of work ahead of us still, but it's it's all perspective. He knows the damage here could have been much worse. In Spanish Ford, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.